What's going on, everyone? I'm Lamb, the real estate insider. Today, we're looking at the home of Kimberly Elise. You got to remember Kimberly Elise. She was and said it all. Remember, she was the one that that uh, weaseled out at, during the bank robbery. And later on, she was like, I, I need this money, Frankie. I need this money. That's the one. Y'all remember her. Anyway, we're looking at a home she owned uh, in Los Angeles. Um, and and we're actually going to be able to see her style, her furnishings, because these are the listings when, when she listed her listed the home. So this is her stuff. I love when we get an opportunity to see their style, their furnishings, their decisions, their choices, their their, their fashion sense, I guess, design sense rather. So the home has is valued at two point five million dollars, four bedrooms, four bath, thirty five hundred and seventy one square feet. Okay. Um, so we're going to take a look at it. We're going to provide our insider rating. So if you would go ahead and press like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and I'll be right back with the tour of Kimberly Elise's LA home.
so you had an opportunity to, to view Kimberly's home. What did you think? What were your thoughts? There was a lot of light colors, a lot of white. I didn't really, I didn't really like the kitchen. I like the contemporary feel and look of the exterior of this Holly Woods Hills home, but I didn't really like the kitchen. Uh, the master was okay. I wasn't wild overall, but it was a very, it was a decent home for a home built in 1990 in the hills. Okay. Um, now she did sell this home um, in 2017, and she picked up picked up 1.4 million dollars. For it. That's how much she sold it for. One point four million dollars. Um, she paid for initially. She paid uh, one point four million for it in two thousand six, and she sold it for one point four two. So she made twenty thousand dollars in profit. Okay, but that that's not the important thing. The important thing is what we rated on a scale from one to 10, one being awful, 10 being amazing. And if I had to rate this home, I would give it a 6.5. What about you though? What would you rate this home on a scale from one to 10? Put your rating in the comments below and I might shout you out in a future video. I think that's all. I think that's it. I think we're done. I'm Lamb, the Real Estate Insider. Until next time, peace out.